What is up amigos? Today we're talking about the stream function in fluid mechanics and we're going through what it is and really why we want to use it. So this ties into what we've been going through the last few weeks, for example, the velocity potential video and the source sync video. In order to go further in our analysis of 2D irritational incompressible flows, we also need the stream function. So the general description of the stream function is quite mathematical, which we'll go through. But first, let me go through a more literal and uh, real world reason as to why we would want something like this. So let's say we have two points, point A and point B, and we have a streamline going between the two. And a streamline is a line that is just always tangential to the local velocity vector. And if you want to know more about what the streamline is and the difference between a streamline, streak line, and path line, check out this video here. So we have this streamline here. And we can actually describe this mathematically with a function, psi, the Greek letter. And this is a function of x and y coordinates. And as I mentioned, this is for 2D incompressible flow. So psi is such that the velocity u is the partial derivative of psi in the x direction. Sorry, the y direction. This is the difference between the velocity potential and stream function in the y direction, not x direction. V is minus partial derivative of psi with respect to the x. And in the uh, radial coordinates, this is Cartesian in radial coordinates, I'll just put it over here, vr equals 1 on r d psi on d theta, and v theta equals minus d psi on dr. So in terms of these equations, they need to satisfy continuity, first of all, so 2d mass conservation. So let's quickly go through that equation and see if this equation does satisfy that as well, because that is important for any flow, really. You can't really just have flow appearing anywhere. It has to come from somewhere. And where it comes from, there obviously has to be a reduction there. So anyway, the continuity equation is the partial derivative of density plus del dot product rho v, uh, velocity vector equals zero. So in terms of the density, well, this is incompressible, so this goes to zero, as does this. And now the velocity, this goes to del equals zero. Okay, so from here, we know that, expanding this, du on dx plus dv on dy equals zero. So plugging these two values into this here, we'll then get d squared psi, so the second derivative, dx dy plus minus d squared uh, psi on dx dy equals zero. Well, that's obviously true because this is equal to this. So that means that both of these cancel out and indeed psi, the string function, does satisfy the conservation of momentum. So that's, oh, mass, sorry. So that's great. So we know that this equation does make sense from that theoretical point of view. So that's what the stream function is and what we can use it for in terms of figuring out what a streamline is doing. Let's go through an example as to how to calculate this value. So let's say I have a, an example where u equals 2y and v equals minus 2x. So we know that u equals d psi on dy, so 2y equals d psi on dy. As such, psi equals 2y squared on two plus a function of x, some function we don't know what it is because we're only integrating with respect to y, plus some constant. This isn't really important, the constant, because it will just go to zero once we derive this anyway, or when we do a derivative. And in terms of the v velocity, minus two x equals d psi, minus d psi on dx. As such, psi equals two x squared on two, plus some function of y, again, because we're only integrating with respect to d, to x, sorry, and some constant, again, it's not that important. So these cancel out these twos, and we're left with y squared plus some function of x plus c1 equals psi, and also psi equals x squared plus some function of y plus c2. So these two have to equal each other. As such, we can tell that y squared equals g of y, and x squared equals f of x. As such, uh, psi equals y squared plus x squared plus some constant, and we don't really care about this anyway. So that is how you'd calculate the stream function. And what we'd use it for is then to figure out how the uh, where the streamlines are going 
And another little interesting thing we can use it for is if we have two different streamlines, so we have one streamline here and another streamline up here, to figure out the mass of the flow rate between the two, we can actually tell that with Q equals Psi 2 minus Psi 1. So if we know what Psi 1 is for one line, uh, Psi for one line is, that's line 1, the Psi for the second line, Psi 2, we can figure out what the flow rate is between the two. So that is again another very uh, useful feature there. So that is what the stream function is, and in the next uh, videos in the next weeks, we'll be going through additional things such as doublets and etc. So if you like this video, make sure to like this and click the subscribe button and I'll see you soon. Peace out, amigos.